the government will try to put a hold up on their vision. What we need is to ban tonight. Yeah. Ban tonight. Every woman, every man, unite. When the moment coming that you gotta man up to the things that you believe in, will you stand and fight? Stand and fight. Will you run or will you stand and fight? I know that I'm far from no one at all. I'm no one at all. Don't always know when I'm wrong. I know when I'm wrong. I know when emotions are flowing, exploded, impotent, and strong. You've opened the vault. Coppers are killing off a population of innocents and one and everybody just to cope with the loss. Well, fuck that. You can follow me into a world of inequality where they try to give apologies and pull another right before they're gonna turn around and let the rich segregate in all economies. What I wanna know is why you judging everybody by the service, but you never wanna hear the reason why. Why you never wanna hear the underlying stories full of all the pain, so the sense keep it tight. Welcome to the vlog. But you never let a hand. Now get you motherfuckers, I stand. With my fellow man and woman, I'm ready for civil unrest. Kicking you bigots off of the land. And I gotta be standing with everybody that's oppressed. This is not a difference in the pity. This is what we gotta do to move into a future full of freedom for our children, even if it means our death. Ha! What's going on, Porch Gang Cloud family, your neighborhood friendly fat man? I got a day off today. Shout out Billy Blaze for that one. I had a doctor's appointment, which, you know what I mean? I could have just took a half a day off, but I hadn't taken a day off for a while. So he was like, look, just take the day off. How many times did I just say day off there? <laughs> but I'm on my way to go down to Dr. Dang's house for a little bit. We're going to sesh, and then I'm going to head up to my appointment. I'm hoping my boy will ride with me because I, I hate making that ride on my own. It's boring. I mean, I do, like, jam out. It's a whole concert. But I don't get to hang out with my, with, with my boy as much as I want to. So with that being said, on the days that I have off, I try to get down here, at least get a little morning sesh with him. You know what I mean? Like to see him more than just down the fucking podcast. Which has been going great. By the way, y'all are amazing. Like y'all been making that shit like jump. And I honestly believe that with everything we've got going on here in the next couple fucking months, it's going to make life huge. Absolutely huge. And I, I appreciate you guys coming and watching, sticking around with us. <sighs> Let Dank know we're here. Oh, his royal dankness. Artist formerly known as Danka Dankerson. Hey, Mr. Dankness. I have come to disturb your morning. He's gonna have text to me, come in. But he knows I won't just walk in his house. I, I don't care how long we've been friends. I ain't just walking in your house. Why am I still standing here? Yeah, he's gonna text me in three seconds. Just walk in. I wait for permission. I'm that friend that I'll just show up, but I'm still gonna knock. I ain't even just walking in your house. I'll call him. What's up, man? I'm on your front porch. I'm coming. Appreciate you. I knocked. I yelled. Oh, well, you could have came up, bro. Uh, you know I'm not walking in your fucking house. Because <laughs> I'm not. That's not me. Hey I'm down here. Hey! What's cracking, G? Ha! I got dankness. And a pocket full of dankness, so. Well, that being said, I'm gonna pause this for a minute. We're gonna session and I'll uh, see you guys in a second. All right, back from Kroger's. Got the wife's snacks in tow. Gonna drop these off, snag up Dr. Dank, get a move on. My days off are never like full days off. I'm always still doing some stuff. Like it's always still balls to the wall the whole time, no matter what. Just kind of made peace with that. But I'm hoping to get everything done soon enough because I need a mental reset. I need to go see my grandma. So trying to get up there, get this shit knocked out, come back, pick up the wife and kids. Go see grandma. Yeah. That's that's the plan. That's the move. <sighs> On our way, always traffic up through here. Literally fucking always. That's why I said I wanted to leave early. 
fucking Pennsylvania in their bullshit. Always, dude. Always. And it's just like there's always construction through here now. Always. Start at West Alley. All the way on up. They've had this strip down to one lane for... Christ, it's been months. No, we're on... Um, Might as well dive behind one of these cores. That was a risky maneuver. Scared the shit out of me. Oh, yes, you don't like the fact I got my license back. <laughs> Finally back from the doctor is just at my pharmacy. Now I gotta go see my boy Jim McNeely about a new couch and a new TV. Even though I'm never home and I probably won't get to really benefit anything from it, the kids will enjoy it. So, it gives them somewhere they can sit and chill while I'm not at home. So, yeah, we're going to leave St. Clairsville, Ohio, and we're going to head down to Bridgeport, Ohio. We're going to go uh, see Jim at work. So, uh, with that being said, I'm going to go back to the tunes and uh, kick it with the wee ones. It's on. New furniture, new TV, new furniture. That when I end up in a doghouse, I got somewhere a little more comfortable to sleep because our old couches is all broke down because I spend a lot of time in a doghouse. You know what I mean? I be upsetting some people every so often, so I, I want somewhere more comfortable. My back's been hurting getting up off that mug. So, new sectional, going to go get it. Uh, give me a couple minutes and yeah. I know Jim's not going to give three flying if I record inside the building. So, yeah, we're going to go cause a ruckus inside the damn furniture store. So, see you guys in a minute. Pulling into Lifestyle Home Furnishings. Let's go see what we can find, shall we? Let's go see what Jim's doing. Close <sighs> Mm, that's gonna be in daddy's living room here soon. Ooh, Chateau Cooper about to be pimped. G'd up from the feet up. I'm so excited. Oh. Now, I get to go home and break the news to Sadie that I just got a couch and TV <laughs> after she specifically told me not to. <laughs> But this is why I wanted a comfy couch. You I end up sleeping on them a lot. You never learn. <sighs> no! I want a new couch and I want that couch. But you, did you need the TV? Yes. Yes, where I did. Where are we going to put it? In where the other one is. He was on drugs, yes, yeah, so are you. Ha <laughs> ha. Hypocritical little bigots are holding on their motherfucking Bible. So many religions are not a god in sight. I'll be looking for heaven with an agnostic mind. No rules on a revolution. If you gotta make a difference, then you gotta cross some lines. Are you knowing the liquor my dad drank up? Are you knowing the stories I had to make up? Are you knowing of the nights that when I went to bed, I was hoping that I never gonna wake up? And I knowing that there are people who have been through worse. Can you see the fact that we united through the tyranny?